There are conflicting opinions within the Trump campaign this morning about whether he needs a reset before the next, the second debate. But perhaps his telling is the polls are the pundits, the fact that he's again lashing out at Bill and Hillary Clinton. Also new this morning, for the leading third party candidate, you're going to want to see this, another major blunder. Donald Trump again attacking Hillary Clinton's health and stamina, referring to this moment at the 9-11 ceremony earlier this month. All those day offs. And then she can't even make it to her car. Isn't it tough? Later on Fox News, clarifying a pivotal moment from the debate about whether he paid federal taxes. They showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. Paid I think a lot of people say that's the kind of thinking that I want running this nation. Okay. Still, multiple Trump sources concede to NBC News that Trump was unprepared Monday night. One calling his performance a disaster, another insisting he's finally going to do mock debates and may even get professional coaching. Trump himself remains unfazed, telling NBC's Katie Turr, hard to be unhappy when we're doing so well. Clinton getting an assist from Bernie Sanders, courting young voters. It is imperative that we elect Hillary Clinton as our next president. The next 40 days will determine the next 40 years. Clinton hoping to energize millennials who remain largely lukewarm about her. Our latest NBC News Wall Street Journal poll showing her lead with millennials evaporating. Third party candidates combining for 22%. Both President Obama and the First Lady offering this warning. The stakes are far too high to take that chance. Too high. Remember, it's not about voting for the perfect candidate. If you don't vote, that's a vote for Trump. If you vote for a third party candidate who's got no chance to win, that's a vote for Trump. Meantime, third party candidate Libertarian Gary Johnson in the spotlight once again this morning for all the wrong reasons. After struggling to name a foreign leader he admires during a town hall on MSNBC. Who's your favorite foreign leader? Who's my favorite? Any, just name anywhere in the country, any one of the continents, any country. Name one foreign leader that you respect and look up to. Anybody. I was Shimon Peres. No, no, okay, I'm talking about living. Go ahead. <laughs> you got to do this anywhere, any continent. Canada, Mexico, Europe, over there, uh, Asia, South America, Africa, name a foreign leader that you respect. I guess I'm having an Aleppo moment in the former, former president of Mexico. But I'm giving Mexico. you the whole I world. Know, I know, I know. Anybody I know. in the world you like. Anybody. Pick any leader. The former president no. of Mexico. Which one? I'm, I'm having a brain. I'm well, having name a brain anybody. Fox. Zadio. Fox. Okay, who's your Thank favorite you. foreign Thank leader? You. Get him off the hook. Name a foreign Fox. leader you respect. He was, he was terrific. Any foreign leader? Uh, Merkel. Okay, Merkel. Okay, fine. Angela Merkel, of course, the German chancellor. Also new this morning, the Arizona Republic is reporting that it's receiving death threats and countless uh, subscription cancellations after its endorsement of Hillary Clinton this week. The first time the paper has supported a Democrat for president in 126 years. Matt Savannah. All right, Peter Alexander, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.